Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Loxo from CZT Milda Weiss. Now, I'm always, one of the things that I look for when I'm looking for inspiration on what to bring for our daily tangle, um, I, say I always look for something different. Because sometimes I could probably get stuck, and I probably have too stuck in a rut of oh a bunch of border tangles oh a bunch of grid grid pins. so i try to you know shake it up a little bit and this one is an interesting uh could be a fill-in tangle or a texture uh if you want it's really really neat okay i decided to do my four corners and a border to simulate oh we're gonna fill in this section so this one uh, it's kind of all about randomness. <laughs> so, and on my step out, I decided to put, you know, just a getting started line. And so wiggly, it, it doesn't matter. Just lines and they can come off from one another. So let's see, I'm going to, I'll start another one here and I'm going to just have it all kind of merge in. Oh, and I think I'll take another one and I'll have it come out here. Whatever you do is fine. It's all good. You know, like I said, they can run into each other and out of each other. I still seem to uh, enjoy, uh, while it's supposed to be random, it's, you know, mine kind of, well, it's as random as, it, random as I'm getting today. <laughs> so, then, um... Well, it's it is kind of, it's kind of randomness randomness with structure, because it, it it's a line and it's going from point A to point B. The curves and things it takes from those two points, ah, uh, you know that can vary. All right, next, Milda has us doing um, curved lines, and and this too wherever you want, and and she has them alternating. So I'm just going to start here, and you know wherever you want to put them, put them. I would say, you know, alternating in some way, shape, or form. But do take a look at um, the For More Inspiration link, because that will link to, actually, Tangle Patterns, which is where I found this. And, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to blow the surprise of the inspiration from this tangle. It's really, really neat. So I will let you discover that. <laughs> Um, and then two, you know, that's part of the reason that I, that I call it for more inspiration, but a lot of it is also so that way you can take a look at the tangle in the hands of the originator. And so there's samples, um, you know, and just their step outs, because I do rearrange a little bit. I, I felt the need to say, okay, you can start with one line and then, then I, I think I put, uh, oh, I put in parentheses on number two random um, and then so once you have like your little curve lines in there then we're going to just do some rounding and i'm going to kind of go the opposite direction you know like this is already pointing down so i'm gonna curve that little corner up which then which actually it's really funny because then it actually makes them all kind of look the same I was thinking about that and I did not go back and take a, I was going to go back and take another look at, like, at her step out and um, well they're, no they're not all the same even if you know if I'm rounding it this way the curve is still this way my curves are not very pronounced they're just slight so if they were more pronounced then you know maybe it'd make a difference Either way, I still like the result. It's neat. And I actually, where did I do it? I lost it. Oh, here, where I where I kind of cut over, I added some rounding into there as well. Or you can, um, or that might be adding some love as, um, <laughs> as, uh, I think I've heard Maria say it most, and then everybody else at the Zentangle adds, you know, we'll say that. We're going to add some love right here. 
It's usually just like adding some weight or something. And that's kind of what rounding does. Okay. And you can see this kind of taking shape. It, 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 has, so it has an interesting look to it. I like that it's, you know, it randomly done. I just have to work on my randomness or just work on not thinking about it. So that way I'm not, you know, because there's no right or wrong, especially when it's random. <laughs> so, okay. Then from here, she has some suggestions for shading. And that was just to put uh, just some, really some random lines in you know, so you can just have fun. I was just doing this, just random, trying to not, trying to be random. I, a lot of times I end up doing the same thing. But you can, you can have fun with it. I thought it was neat that she just said, just put some, uh, oh, that, I forgot to put one in there. And I'm just spreading it out a little bit. And oh, I missed a couple over here. Oh, and one right here. You know, so I, I again, I just put them, you know, kind of in the middle. Some kind of going to the side. Oh, that one there. I made a V because I didn't want it to look exactly like this one. <laughs> uh, there we go. So it's interesting. It is interesting indeed. Part of me wants to, you know, in, well, that would be just, that'd be just too much, too much graphite. But yeah, <laughs> it's neat. It's neat. Like I said, it could be a texture. And honestly, you know, looking at it this way, it, um, it makes me think a little bit, although it's constructed differently because of the random lines, uh, but um, Boulder Builder, and it sure seems like there's some other ones similar but I thought this was neat. I wanted to wanted to give it a go and share it and see how much fun you have with it. That's cool. All right. So if you enjoyed this, and I hope you did, would love to. And I'm gonna while we're while we're talking, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay, my technical term. I'm gonna smush out these lines. <laughs> ah, smush, smudge. I had a combination for that at one point. Um, <laughs> I crack myself up. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, would love to have you click like. Feel free to share it, leave comments, and um, if you like, if you like me enough to see more of me, because you never know what you're going to get when I, because I'm, you know, this is always uh, random, right? What I pick, anyway. Um, if you like me enough to see more, I'd love to have it. If you would be a subscriber to the channel, any and all of those activities, I appreciate greatly. It helps the algorithm thing. And, um, and again, that helps me out a lot in the disc. Oh, see, I see why wow. adding some, adding a frame. Ad yes. Okay. Love it even more. Um, in the description section, you will find those links to the step outs. I always do my own version, so I list that. And then uh, the originator of the tangle, that's the for more inspiration. Below that, if you would like to connect with me, is a link to my website where you'll find the classes that I offer. Uh, I do have some, <laughs> the, the whole objective of my website started off many years ago as uh, categorizing the tangles the way my brain categorizes them. And I have some down and I have to, I have to just schedule myself time um, or sequester myself away somewhere and just get to get to work on it. Now that I've learned more about the, the website and how to do what I wanted to do. Um, uh, let's see, classes, uh, supplies. You know, I haven't mentioned this in a long time. If you want Zentangle original supplies, I do have a store there. Uh, it, um, we do have some pens there. I also have a, an affiliate link to Dick Blick, which has a fantastic uh, supplies. If you, this is really for if you're in the U.S. Uh, I know Dick Blick, there's there's some process if you are not in the U.S. that they have. Uh, and for Zentangle, you send me an email if, if you want to, you know, I appreciate any of the support, but I know that shipping is uh, expensive 
outside of the U.S. So, but uh, I'm happy to help you either way. And um, yeah, I haven't mentioned that in forever. Let's see, what else is there on that website? Well, you can subscribe to my blog. Uh, I do a daily tangle, and I have, have broken it up into, like, month monthly titles, sometimes a little thematic. You know, it just depends. And so you can receive those and any other updates that I, um, you know, put out on my blog. Uh, recaps from classes, things like that is what I usually post. And... I know there's always something else. Classes. Ah, Facebook. If you happen to be on Facebook and would like to uh, have fun with a bunch of other crazy <laughs> tangle addicts, we would love to have you join us. Just to let you know, it's a private group and there are there's like four statements but two required questions of those four uh, to gain entry. So I just want to let you know. And with that, thanks so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.